Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Good day. Uh, Tatai is building the uh, the chick brooder that we're gonna put inside the the chick room here. Tata, you're not building your you're not painting yourself in a corner, are you? Are we gonna be able to get that in there when it's complete? Said yes. You said yes? Yeah. I said, Ty, will this fit in there? Oh. Uh, what are you talking about, Rick? Where is the Tata? Where is Tata? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, Rick. More chill is. Uh, so, which side's going to. Which side's gonna be the floor, Tate? Floor, eh? This is the floor? Floor, yeah. Okay. Floor? Yeah. And that's the that's gonna be the top? Yes. The center floor is the screen. The screen? Okay. So how are we gonna open it, Tate? Mm -hmm. How how are we going to open it? Here. Uh, two stories. Oh, two stories. Oh, oh, I understand your design now. Okay. Red. So he's, he's making a, a two-story two chick condo. Beautiful. Hi. <laughs> So what's your what's your salary, man? No salary. <laughs> How about you, Red Red? What's your what's your what's your salary for being the main helper? I'm your work. You're a you're a work? Apprentice. Uh, apprentice carpenter. <laughs> that doesn't fit, Red? I say that all the time. Oi, it doesn't fit. So I gave Tate a thousand pesos for this uh, yesterday and he bought all these materials complete with hinges. I already had the screen. Uh, I bought that pricey screen uh, two three days ago. And this is just in the nick of time because we have more chicks hatching. Just wait, woman. I'm just trying to say they're not the same size. Mm. Tata is thinking um, more holding, less talking. Right, Tata? Yeah. yeah. I cannot shut my mouth. What are you doing, woman? Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm holding. Oh, I am holding. Holding without knowing. Yes. <laughs> what knowing? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I'm just holding. That's Uncle Giant to you, boy. <laughs> Top Dice Chick Condo. Chick condo. Alright, well, Top Dice has got the floor in the second story. And so I guess the we're going to use tray. Uh, we're going to use those sacks for trays. For those of you who are wondering how we're going to keep the poo off the guys on the second story, you know, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to use uh, sacks. Just line the sacks with bottom. Line the bottom with sacks. 
Laying the suction bottle. Yeah, something like that. You're very funny. So do you have enough materials, Tate? Do you have enough materials? Yeah. Socks or... Hello everyone, I wanted to finish this video up by showing you the latest hatch we've got here. So these started hatching early this morning. Come on guys, don't be a pain here. Let me catch you. So I've already, I took two out earlier. And that's these two little guys here that are already in there. So that's four. Uh, dry one, five. Dry one, six. Seven, and I'm calling you dry enough. That's eight. So we've got eight so far. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. I think you're dry enough to go over here. So that's nine. We got two here that have uh, pretty recent hatches. And one here that's just almost out of his shell. And all you gotta do is push a little bit, and there he goes. There you go, little buddy. Join the world. So, uh, don't be uh, disheartened by the lower numbers in this hatch as opposed to the other, because this is just one tray, uh, and it was two trays with the other. Uh, this one here, this little guy here, is, he will hatch tonight probably. I'm almost sure he will. Of course, this one had a rotten one next to it. That won't hatch. What else do we have pipped here? This little guy here is working his way around. In fact, maybe he's not. This is just a, oops. Well, it's an old shell. What's going on here? I thought this was just a... A shell that had been nope that's his shell well, he's gone all the way around he's just having problems getting out so or or it's another shell that's over the top of it I thought that's what it was when I first picked it up that it's a shell that's hatched and has just covered the end yeah that's what it is But as soon as I started messing with it, the little chicken there started hollering. Well, that's what it was. There we go. There is a little chicken here that's trying to get out. He's made his first little hole there. So I'm going to set these two guys next to each other. get this guy's little hat off. There you go, little buddy. Uh, there's another one tipped right there. Another one there. So, I don't know, we might get 15 out of this. Maybe 20, who knows. 50% uh, would be uh, 25 out of this, because I'm almost sure, no, let's see, I didn't put 50 in this, I put 40 you know, I'm gonna have to go back and look at my records. I think I put 46 in this one. So 23 would be a 50% hatch. Uh, so 22 would be about an equal hatch percentage as we got the first time. So I'm gonna put the top back on this. Uh, these guys, it worked just perfect before. And this little setup I've got here. Uh, they can get underneath there if they want a little extra warmth or they can wander around out here and get something to eat and drink. Uh, it worked out just perfect last time, didn't lose any, so I was pleased with it. I'm going to get this uh, cover back on it so to keep them warm and uh, see what else happens. Thank you everyone.
please like, comment, share, and subscribe.